Hi, I'm Matt Tuffin from What Digital Camera, and today we're going to be doing a tough camera group test. We've selected five cameras, all of which can stand up, going underwater, being dropped, and being frozen. So the first test we're going to give them is to see if they'll stand up to under 10 degrees temperature. In order to test this, we put them all in a domestic freezer overnight, and now I'm going to go and grab them and see how they got on. Okay, so the first camera we've got is the Pentax Optio WG-1. The, uh, the screen is working, the camera's fully powered up. Um, the only problem we have is that the battery is pretty much dead, but otherwise, full working order. Okay, so the next camera we have is the Sony TX10. So let's see how that got on. Okay, so the Sony TX10, once we got all the ice off around it, is powering on. It does feature a front sliding lens cover, which um, unfortunately at the moment is frozen in place. Okay, so next up we have the Panasonic FT3. Okay. The Panasonic is actually now working fully. So we've got full battery power, and uh, the screen's working, everything's working fine. So. Okay, so next up we have the Fujifilm X-P30. Okay, so. So the Fuji X-P30 powers on fine. screen works. Unfortunately though it does seem that the battery has suffered a little bit. Okay so finally we have the Olympus TG310. So let's see how that one got on. The battery works, power works and you can even take a photo. So the Olympus TG310 has survived the freezer test. So the Fujifilm XP30 worked straight away. It seemed to start off with that the battery had suffered. However, after a couple of seconds, when it warmed up, it showed to still have full charge in it, and it still takes a photo fine. The Olympus TG310 powers on fine. The screen works. It took a photo, so everything was in full working order. The Pentax WG1. Now, although it came on straight away, it did show that the battery wasn't working. However, now it's come back up to temperature, the battery is in full working order, and there's no issues at all. The Sony, the only major issue with this camera was the fact that the sliding front panel didn't initially come down due to the freezing cold temperatures, so it was actually stuck in place. So next up was the Panasonic FT3. It didn't take any hits in terms of the battery, and it can still take a photo fine.